we're going to see if the lights I put up are going to be enough light to film. Oh yeah! Orange. But hey, okay, this is nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Black, White, and the Grays. It is basically nighttime, and I'm out in my greenhouse. I came out because, well one, I couldn't help myself, and I bought some primroses. I love primroses. Anybody a uh, Hunger Games fan? I don't want to give any spoilers. The book and the movies have been out forever, but hey. We named our goat Primrose, and we also, I love Primroses. I should plant them outside my window. I'm just gonna pot them up in here because I think it'd be fun to have a little cheer in the greenhouse. And also I bought a little thermometer guy because I wanted to know how cold it was getting here at night. Last night it got to 23 degrees. And the high today was 79. So, not too bad. We must have had some cloud coverage. So I'm gonna pot up these primroses because I couldn't help myself. I, I got them at Walmart, but all the stores I went to, I was out and about in town today and everybody had primroses. They're hardy. I don't know if they're 23 degrees hardy. I might need to take these inside. So I got this pink one. Isn't she a cutie pie? That one might be my favorite. I got this white one with a little yellow inside. Can you see that? Are you a, I think this is hot pink with yellow. It's getting hard, yep, definitely hot pink. And a regular yellow. And then this pink one, it's adorable. So this is just to add a little spring cheer to my life. I got a pot from last year. It is still, yikes got some dirt. I'm gonna scrape some of the old dirt out and add a new layer. Just got primroses so I don't have any like height which is okay. They're still cute. Wow I couldn't help myself. I also got my sister when she saw this she was like are you serious? I just watched your video about you planting them. I'm like I know I have a serious problem. I should not be allowed to go in farm stores. I should not be allowed to go in any store that sells anything like that's alive right now in the spring. But I did it anyway. I bought my own onion starts three pack. These are Walla Wallas. In my defense, I didn't have very many. Um, No, I have no defense at this point in life. They did good for me last year. And this is essentially what we are growing in the pots I talked to you about. Okay, so in this pot, I have, what do I have in here? Patterson, so these are my storage onions. These will look like this in just a couple months. You can tell, can you see that? That the tops have been cut, and that's normal. So you wanna, I even cut the tops of my onions when they're out in the field and are getting like, when they're like, the bulbs aren't quite the size I want them to, I'll come through. The tops can get a little top heavy, and I like to give those a trim off. You can eat those. I will, I'm gonna try and dehydrate them this year. Didn't do that last year, but I wanna dehydrate the tops because you can use the tops for things like garlic or onion powder, and you can dry them, use them as green onions, and then you can also dry the green onion, dried scallion things, dried onions to add into dishes or soups or something, that would be yummy. But you can see that they do the exact same thing. To do, so I'm just making my own. I think because my thermometer is getting down so low. What's the temp now? It's 50 degrees in here right now. Now, which isn't bad, considering it's pretty cold outside. The sun went down. Um, yeah, so I bought these my, for myself. I'm going to just, I'll put their roots in some soil so they don't dry out and keep them good. And I'm also, oh, I should have done it when I was at the store today. I forgot. I'm thinking of doing a trial of an experiment. I'm gonna buy some Walla Walla onion bulbs. The, are they sets? I don't know. I think they're sets. I never know these things. I'll have the starts I purchased from Wilco. I'll buy some Walla Walla onion set, like the bulb sets. And then I also started my own from seed. And I wanna compare and contrast. Do my own experimenting because why the heck not? All right, so I'm gonna get these in some soil. Those guys will be perfectly fine in this cool, cold weather. What are y'all planting? Anybody start anything yet? Okay. 
got some fresh potting soil here. Flip you down so you can see what I'm doing. She's not gonna win any beauty contests, that's for sure, but she's adorable. It'll be so cheerful when I come into the greenhouse. Definitely not winning any awards, but you know what? I don't even give a rip. I'm so pumped up. All right, while I'm out here, let's talk about raspberries. Some along our fence line in our market garden, and then we have, these will be their third summer in our small garden. We have, how many plants do we have in there? 12 or 15. I'm curious to see who makes it through the winter. A good variety that we can grow here, which I got these at Walmart this year. They're just five bucks a plant. I like, they come, don't be freaked out if it's just like a stick. This is completely normal. And when it has time, it'll start putting on some greenery. I did choose some. Some of them had a lot of greenery and I did chose not to get those just because we have a while till they get outside and I didn't these most likely are gonna get nipped by frost and come back again. But, so I got the heritage variety of raspberries. They're perfect for our zone. Heritage raspberry is a growing zone three to nine. So that is perfect for obviously a zone three, three, four. I also got some all-star strawberries. Um, I've been having a heck of a time finding strawberries for a good price. These I thought were a great price. There's 10 bare root for three bucks from Walmart. I don't know how well they'll do. I've actually never, let's rip one of these bags open. Band. They're pretty small. What, I guess you get what you pay for. All right, so here's one, two, three, Oh, that's a good, decent sized one. Four. Five. Tiny. Hey, you know what? And then there's, oh, are you serious? All right, well, these are like, some of them are pretty good. Some of them are not. But that's what I guess you get for $3. And the pl I normally get them online from an online company. The price is more than doubled this year. So I was just not going to do it. I, I, I We planted 250 last year. And two plants survived. The year prior, I think we planted 100. Some survived. And it's all my air because I have never grown strawberries before. So just learning how to deal with berries and all that is a learning curve for me. So like... These berries, one I planted, strawberries, they're very cold hardy. These go down to a zone three. They say five and up, but can be hardy down to a zone three. You just have to mulch them in the winter. But I mulched them, I think I planted them at the end of March. Not going to do that again. 
uh, start them in my greenhouse in pots. Maybe these would be a good use for that. But, and let them get a little bigger and plant them out. They are, they are super cold hardy, but they just don't care for a lot of mulch on top of them. And I uh, piled the mulch on top of them. I didn't know that. They do not, you can put it straw around the crown and the, the good one or a good one. All right. So here's one. So this is a strawberry crown. These are the roots. The roots get planted down. This, the soil comes up to about here. Do not cover this with straw and do not smother it. Okay? Lessons learned from me. You will kill 248 plants if you do it that way. Luckily, when I bought my strawberries, they weren't that crazy expensive. These, I don't even know how well they're gonna do. They're like little beady babies. I also purchased some from Lowe's. These were 10 bucks for 10 plants and Walmart's were three bucks for 10 plants. Let's look at the quality difference. Normally, like I said, I order from Stark Brothers. Well, I said I normally order from Stark Bros. Right now, Stark Brothers is completely out of the all-star in bare root plants. They have a single plant in a four inch pot for $16.99, which is, I, I can't afford to pay $17 for one plant. Not in my budget. I was gonna purchase these ones, the TriStar, which are great. And they're $20 for a 25 pack, yeah. And last year, I believe they were $9 for 25, which was a smoking deal, but I get supply and demand, I get that. So you get what you pay for. So let's open up these Lowe's ones, see if they are any better quality than the Walmart ones. Cause I did pay a bit more. There's 10 roots in here. They're banded too. These are pretty comparable. I mean, they might be all, they're pretty equal. And, well, here's a bigger one. So, I don't know. I think they're pretty comparable to the Walmart ones, except you pay $6 less for the same strawberry at Walmart. <sighs> well, I'm glad I checked. I was like, well, maybe I should have just bought them online, but hey, it is what it is. Now we got strawberries for the year. Hopefully I can plant them better and do a better job and not kill them all, right? Goals, those are the goals of the day. I planted sweet peas yesterday, like hundreds of them. Hopefully they do good. I have, it's, my greenhouse was organized and now it's a disaster again. What can you do? I bought this thermometer though, so I can tell if it's getting down too cold. Where'd it go? Thermometer. She gone. Oh, okay. And I think, um, 23 isn't bad considering it was probably like in the teens outside, but I think I'm going to put a heater in here just because I want, the other day I came down and the soil of my stuff is frozen, which a lot of this stuff is, all the stuff in here can handle it. It's just going to stun its growth. And if I, I'm not going to keep it super warm, maybe above freezing, obviously, but and just get a little heater in here. It's not gonna be a fancy one. It's just gonna do, try, hopefully do a, the job. And I'm gonna test it out one more night and see how cold it gets. That is awesome. So 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Was down to negative four Celsius last night and 23 degrees in here Fahrenheit. So not too bad. All right guys, well this is fun. I actually am gonna take these. These, have, these were in the store. There's no way they've been adapted to the climate. So I think they would just bite the bullet if I left them in here. So I'm gonna take them inside and then bring them out during the day just to make sure they survive because this would be sad. She may not be perfect, but it's beautiful flowers in life and I don't want them to die. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. I'll see you on my next video. Bye, guys. Okay, got my little buddy. Let's go turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Hey, oh, look it, we got a cool new whiteboard. Holla. Thanks, Crystal.
can't see a freaking thing. Shysters. Oh, pretty sky.